Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you Lauren Wynn. Winston Churchill said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. I mean, easy for him to say, right? What does he know about bouncing a life as a teenager in the 21st century? William and I will be the first to admit that this process of committing to the leadership links took a lot of effort. Thank you, William, for everything you and your family have done for your local community and Lehigh Value Valley Hospital. I never felt like I was ready to commit to leadership links because it forced me out of my comfort zone. It required me to ask for money. It required me to be highly productive with the little amount of spare time that I had in my already jam-packed schedule. On many occasions, it felt like too much. School, practice, volunteering with the first tee, homework, family. It all weighed on me until cracks started to show. I'm here in front of you today, stronger for my involvement with Leadership Links. It helped me see that I was strong enough to help give others some of the same opportunities that we all have. I owe today's recognition to a few special people in my life who pushed me and encouraged me and believed in me. I owe it to my Uncle Jerry for introducing me to the great game of golf and buying me the set of hot pink clubs for my fifth birthday. Thank you, Uncle Jerry, for being my partner in the long drive contest against Janine and Alex. I remember when I would make you use your driver so that we'd be guaranteed a win, even if I whiffed my ball just 10 feet. Can we go back to the days when you would pay me a buck if I could hit the ball 50 yards? I need gas money. Um, I owe it to Alex and Janine for setting the bar so high with their own games that it motivated me to constantly work on mine. Being the youngest in the family, I always just wanted to beat you two at something, at anything. Janine, would you consider selling me your short game? Alex, I'm still working on that 118 mile per hour swing speed. I'll catch up to you one day. I owe it to Coach Joel for going out on a limb to make me the captain of my high school golf team my sophomore year, knowing that the title specifically for upperclassmen. The confidence that I gained from this role changed me from being that reserved girl who didn't tell anyone that I golfed to someone that started a golf league at my school and recruited my friends to join. I owe it to a five-year-old girl and her mother on a fishing raft in the South China Sea at sea for almost a week and completely out of food and water. I owe it to a little boy surviving with his grandparents at a refugee camp in the wilderness on a deserted island. Thank you, mom and dad for everything you've endured for me today, for everything you've sacrificed and fought for to give me the opportunity to pursue the sport I love. Thank you for cheering me on, always from the car pass, of course, and thank you for being my biggest role models and, and supporters. My parents immigrated to the US in the early 1980s. They grew up in poverty, living in public housing, standing in line at the food banks, shopping at thrift stores for back to school clothing, they took what they were given and built a lasting foundation for me. In the same way, whatever I struggled with, I wanted to take what I have and build a foundation for others to succeed. It's a privilege to be able to golf. It takes time, resources, and support, things that not every person is lucky enough to have. And for me to be able to pursue the game for a decade, to make it to tournaments such as the US Girls Junior, the US Women's Four Ball, and to an an AJJ Invitational, such as the Rolex Girls Junior Championship, it speaks to a level of privilege that I'm not sure I'll ever be able to pay back. But I know that I'll spend my life trying. To my peers, I hope you see that it's a privilege just to be here, to competing in this elite polo Invitational, and one that we're obligated to pay back. Dig deep to find out what fuels your passion, and share a piece of yourself with your community to leave our world just a little bit better than when we found it. Take a moment to be grateful for what you have. 
and fight to build a better foundation for others who come after us.